Hey everyone, my name is Kat, Kat Moussants, and I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the importance of balancing between the stuff you want and the stuff you need. And let me start off by saying that these things, these ideas, this way of thinking works for me but it might or might not work for you so take that that disclaimer so yeah let me put on my sunglasses well the reason I'm, I'm choosing to talk about this is because in the past few months I've been learning a lot about how to manage my time my money and uh, how to best go on about spending in general so when I first started like my quest to feel better about my, my home, my life, whatever, when I first started doing that, I thought that I could achieve that by giving myself some small luxuries, like, I don't know, a MacBook or an Apple Watch or those kind of things. And while it may work for some people, I knew that was not going to be the solution to my my discomfort. So yeah, I want a MacBook, I want an Apple Watch. Um, then I started thinking, how would that push me forward to achieving my goals? An Apple Watch sure might look cool, sure might be useful even. A lot of people I, I've asked about it have told me that it's a device that you don't really feel like you need it until you have it then you actually need it. And that's pretty much what everybody said about the iPhone. But I started thinking, well, is getting an Apple Watch going to get me money? Is it going to take me further? Is it going to take me closer to my goals? And the answer was no, so I decided not to get it. It was hard because I really, really wanted it. It was like I saw everybody on the streets, everybody was wearing an Apple Watch. And I felt like it was, it was really nice, something that I had to have. And since I am like pretty much a tech aficionado, I like a lot of futuristic stuff. And smart watches were always, always, ever since before, like they were I think they were always something I I wanted to get so now that they became affordable now that they became functional I wanted to get one but like I said it's not gonna help me go forward the point I'm trying to make is that a lot of times we want luxuries and we disguise them as needs when they're not really needs this comes to play with my actual work line and my actual goals which are um, well I'm a photographer I'm a musician I'm a videographer so I need to work on that kind of stuff I need Illustrator I need Photoshop I need Lightroom I need Final Cut all those pieces of software all those programs and uh, my laptop, my Windows laptop, was already faulty. So I need a new computer. And I always, always, always wanted to get a, a MacBook. But it was always out of my possibilities to get a MacBook. So it was a dream since I was little to get a MacBook. Or a Mac computer. And I was working. I started working a lot to get it. I got three jobs, apart from my my arts related stuff and I was starting to save up for my uh, for my MacBook but I realized halfway through the process of saving that maybe a MacBook was not a good idea for what I needed because what I needed was something to edit pictures something to edit video and something to work my music on so I needed a big screen which one could say 
uh, you could get a MacBook and then get a larger display. That works for some people. For me, because I compared the price and the specs and everything, I figured it was not that good of an idea. So what I ended up doing was, instead of saving up for, for a MacBook, I started saving up for an iMac, which is what I eventually got. But that's besides the point. What worked for me best um, in order to to get to this point where I can totally say that I I am better at spending stuff and not spending uh, was making a list, making a list of things, all the things I wanted, everything, 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 Apple Watch, iPhone X, uh, MacBook, Tesla, whatever, whatever you can think of. Then right next to that list make two two spaces one says needs one that says wants then just tick the ones that you you can think of so for the macbook for example that was a want the apple watch that was a want but the things that were a need for me was the imac the imac was a need i needed my imac to work and do stuff because that would generate money for me so by doing that list it became way way easier to go about this process and that's what I recommend that's what I recommend to everyone watching make a list of the things you want and prioritize if you have any other ways that work for you please feel free to share I would love to because it might be better than my own method uh, yeah, I have to get to work, so I have to end this video now. See you guys.